Hello, my name's uh, Robin Sunley and I'm an acupuncturist at James Cook University Hospital. I work for um, cancer services and cardiothoracic surgery through the Trinity Holistic Centre. And I'm, today I'm going to show you hand hygiene and I'm going to talk about hand hygiene um, because it's fundamental in what we all do. And I'm going to show you our policies. Again, I'm not saying that you adapt these policies. These are the policies we in, we doing at the uh, South Tees Trust at the moment and to prevent infection control and with Covid and you know what's going on now it's really important that we adhere to them. Um, again I'm not going to tell you off just this is what we do. Okay so um, first rule fundamental rule is bare below the elbows naked below the elbows okay again we're going to think about cross infection you know we can clean all these areas but if i have any pieces of clothing i mean this you know these lanyards are brilliant this is a stretchy one so when i bend down it doesn't touch a thing if i'm wearing something that's you know long and i bend down it touches the patient that's a cross contamination thing so um then I do, I am married, I do have a wedding ring, but I don't wear it. Just because I was washing my hands so many times in a day, it got um, quite sore underneath there. So I don't wear my ring at work. Um, but you can wear, our policies are, you can wear one single gold band. You're not allowed to wear anything with uh, diamonds in or any bracelets or gel nails or have long fingernails or have indeed any um, nail varnish. Okay. Again, because anything that can, uh, you know, you can imagine with a diamond or thing like that, with any work, it can have small pieces of dirt in there, and that would be a possibility you have an infection control issue, you know, so it could spread something wrong. But again, you know, this is what we do. Um, and why would you wash your hands? Well, apart from cleaning your hands, we will start with cleaning your hands. The, the main reason to wash your hands is if you can see any visible dirt. If there was dirt on your nails, we, I keep the nails very short again, because when I'm palpating, I use gloves now, I wear gloves. But again, long nails, if you've got long nails and you're putting these gloves on, which you know, are required for us, that's going to rip the nail, it's going to rip the gloves. Plus, um, if you're palpating or you're feeling or you're doing pulses, things like that, we're going to use these parts of the fingers. Long nails will dig into the patient and you've got a big risk there of infection control. Okay, so short nails for me, no wedding ring. Um, now, if your hands are dirty, you're going to wash them. If you have come in contact with any body fluids, so spit, blood, urine, poo, yeah, all of that, you're going to wash your hands. That's going to, you know, you're not going to gel. So this is why I'm saying wash. You're not going to gel at this point. You're going to wash. Okay. So if you've been to the loo, you're going to wash your hands. Yeah. After you've been to the loo. If you're eating, you're going to wash your hands before and after. Okay, food hygiene. If you've been handling food, you're going to wash your hands before you handle food, after you handle food. Okay. If you're changing nappies, again, when you're looking at body fluids, you're going to wash your hands. If you have a patient that is di has diarrhea and vomiting, even though you might have not come in contact with it, you're going to wash your hands. You're not going to gel at that point. You're going to wash. Okay. If you have a patient that has any cough or um, flu-like symptoms, COVID, you're going to wash your hands, okay? And yeah, that, 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 as far as I can think, that's everything. Washing your hands as opposed to gel. So we normally follow the rule. This is our spiral gel, our um, hand sanitizer, whatever you want to call it. This is the wrong we use at those but it's I would always use, like, wash my hands. And say I was working in a normal clinic in non-COVID days. Right, I would wash my hands before I start the clinic. And then I would, um, if a patient came in and wash my hands, then I would needle. And then if I was going to see another patient, I might, um, in the multi-bed clinic, I might gel, go and see the other patient. Then I might see another patient gel. And after three gels, I wash my hands just because the gel can actually create a coating on it and it, it can get sticky but again it's just that i believe the hospital policy is three gels to one wash some hospitals follow five gels to one wash so you can gel five times and you have to wash me i just do three because it makes a, you know it, it gives a coating on the hands and it's still good
but I'm going to show you washing. So I'm going to show you the washing to begin with and what we're doing with the washing, okay? So I'm going to bring the camera in there. All right. Now, again, this whole area needs to be clean. If you start your clinic or at the end of the day, you've cleaned it all, you've done your canal wipes, and that's going to be in another video. I'm going to wash. Okay, I'm going to wet. Okay. I'm going to move that out of the way. I want a good amount of soap that when I create a lather, it covers the whole of my hand. So I'm creating this. So I'm, first thing, circular motion. Get lots of bubbles. Then I'm going to inter interlock the fingers, all right? And I'm going to make sure that I'm going up and down the fingers, both sides. And you may have noticed that I'm not actually, my little finger on the, ins on the outside there. I'm going to change my hands over and go over that. So that's getting washed as well. I'm just going to try and cover all surfaces of the hand, all right? Hands the hand. Right, and then I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to do the same thing. Interlock down there. Alright, get to the back of the hand. I'm going to get my, that finger on there. I'm going to get my finger on the outside. I'm going to change over and do the same thing. Okay. Now, as I'm doing this, you might notice there's no foam on my fingernails. Alright. I can go that far if I want. But what I'm going to do is interlock them and do that. So I'm definitely getting the end of my fingertips. Now, to make sure these are clean, I'm going to put them in together and rub around the fingertip. The fingertips around the centre of the palm. This has a dual purpose of cleaning the fingertips, but also because the centre of the palm is indented, indented, when we do this it's possible that you don't actually cover it, you know. So we do that, circular motion, circular motion. Okay. Then round the thumb. Then round the thumb. Then I'm going to get the back of my hand, I'm going to go and then round my wrist. I do a full hands width. Okay. Again, this isn't for surgery, please. You no, know, this is just for your day to day clinic. Okay. Alright. Brilliant. Then I'm going to rinse off. Now, when I'm rinsing off, I'm going to make sure I don't touch the sink because your hand's so close to the back. If you touch the sink, it's a cross contamination, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to make sure that's good job. There you go. Yeah. And I'm going to leave the tap running. Alright, just, I'm just going to show you why. Okay, I'm going to get paper towels. This is important. I'm going to use the paper towels from a dispenser, so I haven't touched the dispenser, all I've done is touch the towels. And I'm going to make sure my hands are very dry. I'm going to really dry in between my fingers, and I'm going to take my time to dry them. Now, if we didn't have elbow taps, which we do here, so I can turn these off, and this is, you know, with it, I can turn this off, all right? But if I didn't have elbow taps, I'm going to use this. I'm not going to touch the tap. Again, I'm just trying my hands. And I would use that to turn the tap off, where it needs to be. I'm not touching that tap again. And then I'm going to ditch this. I'm going to put it in the bin, okay? So when I put it in the bin, I know I'm not showing it in the bin, but... It's going to be a pen bin. There's no point washing your hands and then lifting the bin up and putting that in. That's not a very useful thing to do. So remember, pen bin, bin, brilliant. Um, now, my hands are clean and ready to go. So, now if I wanted to gel, remember, I'm going to do my general rule of thumb is three gels to one wash, but that's completely up to you. When I gel, I'm going to do three big pumps, same thing. And I'm, because it's in my brain, okay, I'm just going to follow the exact same policy of um, what I did when I washed, okay? So fingertips, yeah, change over, backs of the hand, backs of the hand, okay, I haven't got my fingers so I get them, yeah, thumb, thumb, back of the hand and wrist, back of the hand and wrist, and I just want to, I'm going to let it dry. Always makes me laugh. You see lots of people in the corridors of the hospital just doing this. But um, yeah, you're just trying to, let, and you're going to let it dry before you do anything. So that's that's hand washing and that's jelly. Okay, I'm going to take a seat. All right. So um, I made a big deal about drying your hands. You, this is a um, it was someone from occupational health told me this. They said you know because people often get you know, dermatitis or cracked hands and you know, become very sore. And most of the time it's actually not drying them properly. Because you're busy, you wash your hands, you do all of that. 
and then you rush off and you've got wet hands and again your wet hands are actually more likely to spread germs than anything else so you've got to dry your hands thoroughly really dry them. that stops some cracking that stops them being coming you know painful and stops you having to put a plaster on now again if you cut your hands or you damage hands you've got to cover that and we, we're going to go through gloves in a bit but um but plasters it's a you know, okay, you need a new plaster, you put a plaster on, put your gloves on, you wash your hands, put a plaster on, you know, take that plaster off, wash your hands, put another plaster on. It, it's just something you don't need. So take care of your hands, take care of the skin. And again, everywhere in the hospital, there'll be this barrier cream. We generally put it on before a shift, put it on after a shift, and you can put it on during a shift. Again, you know, it's, you know, you'll find your own way, but this doesn't, this isn't anything to do with it. Um, infection control or hand hygiene this is just keeping your hands safe you know so again beforehand really work on it and i'm sure there's lots of tips out there to see about taking care of your hands and things i hope that's all right um again you know that's what we do hope that helps all right thank you very much